Hello, and welcome back to Zim Bubbling. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to take a look at what's new in Zim Cat 02. Woohoo! So we've got a new version of Cat. Go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on the cat and check this out. So here's some stuff on the book, and we'll see that in a next bubbling. We're going to take a look at this bubbling on label letters, which brings in HTML-like text. Very exciting. We had a previous bubbling where we looked at all of the other changes or updates in Zim 2, so you should check that out. It's always good to keep up with uh, these minor changes as well. They can be very handy. Things like chop and 2-alpha and a way to handle assets with multiple paths. So yes, definitely uh, take a look at that bubbling as well. But this one, we're going into label letters. Let's have a look. So label letters has been around, but you see how we're animating each one there? What label letters does is takes a label and breaks it up into individual labels so that we could animate each one. Well, with that, we realized that that would also allow us to do things like highlight each one, make it strong, emphasis, underline, bold, and, and colors. And, so uh, there's a font as well. That's a different font, all within the same kind of label, so-called label. Isn't that exciting? So basically, we've taken the rudimentary HTML font or text formatting, and uh, we're now able to apply that with tags. Wow. And this hasn't been able, we haven't been able to do this on the canvas text. Remember, the canvas is just a picture. Uh, it doesn't have text that's with individual letters, per se. So uh, this is an improvement to label letters. Let's go in and take a look at how we did that. So you can read about it in the docs right here. Or we'll reduce this down and take a look at the code that built this. So we're in ZimCat 2. There it is. Bring in create Jess and Zim. We scroll on down. This is a standard template. And what have we got? We got a made with nothing to do with it, but the style. Okay, we also are adding us a, a group called heading and to our style. So this is one way to do it. You could also say style equals squiggly brackets uh, group. So any groups that we want to add to our styles go in there. And then if we want one called heading, uh, here, here they are, and we can take these styles right here and put them in the heading. So these two, these are two different formats. One is using the style class directly with a, a static method here, add group, the name of the group, and what we want to add. And this one, we're going to the, the, the raw style object right here, saying group and the style we want to add. So what we're about to show you is the fact that we can style the the HTML text as well that we've got going on, or the HTML-like text. It's not actually HTML text. So either either of those would work. Down below here is the string that we're passing in for our label. So <laughs> hello font tag. <laughs> you know we thought about it. I know, I know, I know. In this day of styles and stuff like that, we don't usually use the font tag anymore. But if we're wanting to just uh, apply rudimentary HTML uh, in, uh, text type adjustments, the font tag works works quite well. So there's a family of courier, for instance. So we're using HTML tags right inside of this. And then what we're doing in Zim is parsing those out, saying, OK, the letters that are in between this tag and that end of font tag, the individual letters, when I make the letter, I should make it courier and I should apply the styles from this heading. Interesting, huh? So what is that giving us though? Group of heading, label letters, font right here. So this should be in the style of that, which is a variant true. So let's check out the variant. You see how the capital L, and then these are all capital letters, but they're smaller. Those are the variants. Uh, we don't really need the horizontal and the vertical padding, that would only be if the label letters have um, a color in behind them. But we'll see that later. So there's a group of heading and also down here somewhere we've got a group of heading somewhere else uh, right there. 
which is actually next, I suppose. So a couple breaks. Again, we are reading the breaks and therefore adding new lines in here. So there's the couple breaks that are being handled by just saying, hey, you need a break, then I'll, I'll make the text of this move down uh, the, the height. By the way, all these line heights can be set individually as well. There's a default line height, but there's also line heights. It's an array of different line heights that you want. Same with the, the spacing. Oh, those are... Actually, I can, those are called line spacings. Let's just have a look. Yeah, line spacing. So a default line spacing, not a height. So the height is the height of the line. You can actually set the height of the line with a style as well, but usually that would be done with a, a, a font size, I suppose. Well, a slightly different font size. Height of the line would add the spacing. So yeah, instead of doing um, line heights, which can be done in a label, line heights can be done in a label, but uh, here we're, we're working with spacings uh, more so. Okay, so now we've got something special going on here where we've got a background color on that. And when we roll over, the, all of it goes. That, that wouldn't normally happen because you, normally we'd be rolling over one of the letters and only the background color of that one letter would go. So what we had to do is make sure that we hooked that up. We had to remember, oh, we're all part of the same background color. So therefore, as I roll over any of these letters, we're going to change the color of all of the letters that are along with it. Same with link. You'll see that we've got an A tag, and link is the same deal. The link has to work from here to here. Even We put the A tag here, ended the A tag here. Each of these letters needs to get uh, the link. Let's... Um, Look on through here. So there's a font with a group of heading and a background color. So that's how we've done the background color right on the font. Background color of yellow, roll background color of green right there on the font available for you. Uh, most of the other ones, well, the A is kind of like that too. You see the font has these parameters. The other ones that we're going to be looking at soon, bold, italics, um, maybe that's it, underline their they don't have parameters. They're done a little bit differently, but whatever. Here's the A tag with an href and a target on the word example. So if we press on example, bing, it brings us back to Zimcat. And if we press on underline, it refreshes the page. So now the page has been refreshed and we get the animations, individual animations going again. <clears throat> There's the end of font, so note we've got nested, nested tags as well where the font surrounds the A tag. Here's a bold. You can also use strong. Strong works as well. And end of strong. And you'll get the same thing here. Oh, this is the remote site. Let's view it locally. I'll open up in Browser Plus. And we have a bit of a a boo-boo going on somewhere. It may have been... Let's see what that boo-boo is. Boo-boo! No boo-boo. No cat. No cat. What's going on with there? I changed that. Org CDN cat 02. That looks good. Let's try to refresh on that. Not getting anything. Open in browser. Did my internet, it's working fine in a browser. So I'm not sure what's going on with my browser plus. Closing browser plus. <laughs> but uh, there it is, bolded. Or uh, what were we doing? Yeah, strong, strong. The strong is still strong. Still strong. Still strong. And emphasis as well can have an emphasis as well there instead of the I. Uh, here's another link, and there's the underline of the link. <laughs> Classic. Huh? So uh, the U tag being used there. Uh, here we have fonts with color. So color red, size 70, family Verdana. So again, the old font tag with some strong in there. Oh, there was a strong example and font, and that's giving us all this red stuff. Big red Verdana. You will find that other fonts don't label letters quite as nice. I like if we said impact here, uh, this is what impact font would look like. Let's 
seem to be having problems with my, my internet. I don't know what's going on with it. It's working intermittently. Hello, either that or Zim is being slow. Something's uh, something's not quite right. Let's try this again. Up uh, view in browser, open in browser. Hello, hello internet. Hello internet. Okay, what have we got? Is that? Yeah, I guess that's um, that's impact. So on impact, we've got a. B, an I, and a G, and take a look at our spacing in there. Not sure what that is, but you, it, like, it's like a kerning issue, I guess. You may have to uh, apply the custom spaces. So you can do custom spaces as an array. So the space of all of these is available in an array. We've adjusted it so that if you put in an array of uh, emptiness. So basically make a new array and then say array at uh, 20 is equal to 5. Then the spacing at 20, all of the spacings will be the default spacing, but the spacing at 5 will be adjusted to, to 5. So that's handy. In the past version of label letters, you have to actually put in the space. All of those default spacings would have to be in the array as well. Now we say, hey, if there's nothing in the array at a certain index, then just use the default spacing. So uh, made an improvement there. But you might have to adjust various kerning if you want to like, look at the, the R and the D together. Don't look the, the best either. So have a look at letter spacing at that point letter spacing by default is 2. If we set the letter spacing to 10, here's what uh, the here's what the letter spacing would look like if my internet works. Gosh darn it. Okay, maybe we better not try uh, try anything open in browser. It comes in right away. It's a refresh issue. It's so weird. Anyway, there's a, a bigger letter spacing. And again, you can kind of see the kerning on certain fonts. Usually on the default font, uh, I think it's Verdana on the default font, it's quite nice. But otherwise, it's, um, it's uh, shifting a little bit. And, and same with some of the, the courier. Courier is not too bad, but uh, other fonts might have problems too. All right, so where did we get to? We were taking a look at different fonts there. I'm going to put Verdana back there. Uh, we got the strong, we got the end of font, we've got bolds. It's okay to just put in some angle brackets. It, it won't recognize them. We've just recently been working on right to left as well. So you can set RTL colon true, and you'll get uh, Arabic and Hebrew letters going right to left. Uh, note that we have put in the back tick here, like that. Um, so that we can put this on multiple lines just to see it easier. You don't have to, but we do. If you do that, just be careful because this type of thing, you know, extra stuff in there might affect how, how it looks. Again, <laughs> having ref refresh issues. Actually, I have never, ever had refresh issues. I don't know what's going on. It might not be refresh. It looks like it's... This is loading, then must be our internet, or perhaps Zim is bogged at the moment, which is very unusual. Um, so there you go. Uh, what was I looking on that refresh? Oh, I was just going to warn you that these spaces that are in there will affect how, how the letters may be. Okay. So just uh, tidy that up. Right. So we do, we might weed out new lines at the beginning or the end, I'm not sure. What are we doing with our label letters? We're passing in the label, we're setting the alignment. So you've got V alignment and align. This is alignment on the letters. So it's going to affect how the letters themselves animate because that's their registration point in each letter. So if you want them growing from the center, have them grow from the center. If you want them growing from the bottom, and this is what we wanted in this case, like they grow higher from the bottom, we V align the letters in the bottom. But that's not your uh, alignment of, of line. So you also have line align in the center. So in this case, the line align is in the center. So each of these lines is aligned in the center. And same with up bottoms and tops. If you have various line spacings, um, then you can V align them at the top or not. That's line V align. And we've centered that whole thing, and there we are animating it, and we're using a sequence to animate each. As soon as we say a sequence on that, 
it will animate them in a sequence. Otherwise, it would animate the scale y of the whole, uh, the whole container. Woohoo! So that, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the internet issues, but uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, has been a what's bubbling zim where we have improvements to label letters to bring in HTML-like text. And like I said, that's been requested from people out in CreateJS forums and stuff like that to have Canvas text be able to have a bold in it. <laughs> we never had that before. And there you are. Uh, so very, very cool. Enjoy. And come on into zimjs.com slash slack and hang out with us. If you so desire, we would love to see you there. Have a great day or night. I'm Dr. Abstract. Ciao.